Well, unless they get a new contract, workers at Catholic Health are ready to strike in just 10 days. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. And the Union for Nurses and Staff at South Buffalo Mercy have survey results out today. And it says how dire the situation is there and at other hospitals in the system. Two on your side's Dave McKinley has the latest. According to sources from both sides, despite ongoing talks, they're a long way from an agreement. A Catholic health spokesperson says they're about $100 million apart. The union says the amount they're being offered when you factor in soaring inflation and what members would pay additionally out of pocket for their own health care creates a situation where they'll actually experience a pay cut. A main sticking point is the union's desire to introduce staffing ratios. That's something they say will address a staffing shortage, which it says is impacting patient health care and leading to high turnover among staff. Six nurses have put in their notice, myself included. I can no longer do it. I cannot work under these conditions. But the strike, if it comes, would also come amid rising numbers of COVID cases. At a time like this, how can you even consider striking? We're at the point of uh, where, where too many lives are in danger, where it's, it's literally a crisis situation. They say a strike, which they hope to avoid, would force the hospital's hand to better address staff shortages, as it would also involve scrutiny of the state health department. I think that they uh, will put a little structure into the place when they get there. She also notes that 15 months ago, as the pandemic was taking hold, these workers extended their existing contract in order to serve a need with a raise of one half of one percent. Several state lawmakers are supporting the union. We have to make sure that those angels that are taking care of us when we are in need are taken care of now in their time of need. The CWA says the results of its survey show 98% of workers believe Catholic Health has failed to adequately address the staffing shortage. Catholic Health says it has been hiring and is trying to hire more but that a nationwide labor shortage, especially in the healthcare field, has posed challenges. There are further details on what that survey found when you look for this story right now on our website, WGRZ.com. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.